Welcome back to Raw Card. Today we'll be looking at the Flesh and Blood uh, Crucible of War Unlimited Edition. Uh, it has 24 boosters, so we'll just get through, I think, the whole thing in one sitting. Do it a bit quicker than usual. Although, I'm not too sure how these packs are set out for uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, so what we're looking for in the Unlimited is the Rainbow Foils. We are not after, I mean, we can't even get the Cold Foils in this pack, I don't think. Let me just get this open. So, they are 10 card packs. They are still the uh, Foil-ish pack. They're not the Paper Packs yet. But this is the next in line after. Can't even remember what the last video was. To be honest. Let's see if I can even remember how the layout of the packs goes. All right, we have a tech. Is it Tech Loverson's workshop? Increase the tension. We have a Sutcliffe's research notes. Rousing Aether. Torrent of Tempo. Crush the Weak. There's a Flying Kick. Soul Bead Strike. Now, rare will be Dauntless. Second rare is Tearing Titan. Uh, okay, yeah. So I guess it goes foil and then two rares. So that is our foil there, the Soul Bead Strike. And then we got the two rares. So because there's 24, I think I'll cut it into, what, we'll do six, first six low, and then we'll go quick. Over Blast, Consuming Volition, Sleep Dart, Foreboding Bolt. Blessing of Serenity. Merging Dominance. Push forward. We have a ooh, plasma barrel shot that is a foil rare weapon. That's pretty cool. Might actually be worth something. I'll uh, make a turn pile. So really nice foiling as well. We have a promise of plenty and a high speed impact. I'm not really having any luck with those full tabs. Brutal assault. Combustible Korea, Pathing Helix, Swing Fist Think Later. That's a little bit weird that one. Out for Blood, Riled Up, Hit and Run. So we have a Whirling Mist Blossom. Foil, very um, subtle foiling on that one. Might put the foils together, maybe. We have a Aetherize uh, Majestic and a Reaping Blade. 
that good. Yeah. Guess I'll just go off uh, what, how many foils we have for what number pack we're up to. Increase the tension. A Kano Dracai of Aether. Interesting that they put that at the front, I guess. Is it a double sided? No. Cyclist Research Notes. Flying Kick. We have a Bravo Showstopper. Emerging Dominance. A Whirling Mist Blossom. Then we have a Rune Chant Foil. That's really nice. Just a common though. Got a Rushing River for our rare. And a Towering Titan for our rare. So I believe the expensive ones for this set, uh, we are looking for Arcanite Shard, Feindal Spring Tunic. And if we can get, I don't know if you can get the extended art twinning blade for this one. So we'll see. We have Snap Back, Overblast, Sleep Dart, Meet and Greet. Push forward. Torrent of tempo. Out for blood. That is, I didn't even notice it that first time. That's a that like a werewolf's head. That's sick. We have a push forward foil, I believe. Subtle foiling, the teeth, the sword, the shoulder emblem. Just a common. We have a Cav Dayan, Trader of Skins for our rare. And a crane dance for our rare. So yeah, I can't remember what size the packs were last time. Overblast, consuming volition, Teclovison's workshop, brutal assault, predatory assault, terror. Sorry, Torrent of Tempo, but this Towering Tempo. Swing Fist, think later. We have a Foil Emerging Dominance. Just a common. Reinforce the Line, rare, and a Mandible Claw, rare as well. Uh, so I'm not sure if I remember how many... Sorry, I think I just hit the camera how many cards were in the packs from the last set, but I'm sure it was more than 10. It felt like it was more than 10. We have a Azalea, Katsu, Chokeslam, I don't think we've had that yet. Hmm. Flying Kick, we have a Benji Foil Rare, Benji the Piercing Wind. That is really nice. Just a single sided. Towering Titan Blue Rare. The Morv. Morvirian Skies. Seems like this one's probably going to be a bit quicker than uh, the other ones. Predatory Assault, Merging Dominance. We have another Foil Soul Bead Strike. This time it's red. I think last time it was yellow. We have a Dauntless Rare and a Crane Dance Rare. I mean, unless you were really looking for anything in these packs in particular, and this is the Unlimited set, so you're not getting super, super expensive ones, but unless you're looking for anything in particular, my guess would be that you just open up a pack and go to the last three cards. That is our foil. Salt the wound. Very, very subtle. You can just see the eyes, the sword, and the eyes and teeth of the whatever is being killed. We have a dread triptych. 
as our Majestic. And a Cindering Foresight Rare. Yeah, my guess is that I'll probably just go skip to the last three to get the cards to see if you got anything. If you're not looking for anything, but it's probably always smarter just to buy single cards rather than opening up packs. I think it's a, uh... oh, here we go. We've got a rare foil towering Titan. We have a data doll Mark II. That's our rare, non-foil. And a barraging Bighorn. Um... Yeah, it's a bit of a just reach across and grab that. It's a bit excessive to open these up for no reason. I guess it's a bit of a treat. We have Ira Crimson Haze. Believe we had that in foil. Just keep going through these. And we have a Brutal Assault foil. The... It is cool how they choose the foiling. It's not just the whole thing is shiny. I do really like that. Crane Dance. I'm sorry, I'll put that foil up there. High Speed Impact. There's a rare. I think I'm getting a hang of these uh, packs. We've got a Copper. Haven't seen that before. Combustible Korea. Just try to remember the ones we have and haven't seen. Is that our foil? It is. So you can see the foiling specifically on the sword helmet and the bits of the armor. Another Morve. Morv or Viren Skies, and then Sledge of Enfilheim. Hmm. We've seen that increase the tension. Don't remember if we've seen that before. Predatory Assault. Our foil is Tripwire Trap. That's uh, pretty gory. That's also pretty cool, actually. The foiling on the, the leg being sliced. That is a rare as well. We have a reinforce, reinforce the line. And a Towering Titan. We've had so many of those. All right, I might just clean these piles. So far, we haven't had any huge hits, I don't think. Just looking over, because I've got a list on the right here. Nothing, um, nothing in incredibly pricey. Pathing Helix. Overblast, Sleep Dart. Meet and Greet. Rhyna, Reckless Rampage. So they've obviously reprinted all the heroes from the original set. Blessing of Serenity. Overblast as our foil. That is pretty cool. We've got a Beast Within Majestic, I believe. Yep. And a Dauntless. I haven't really got much to say about um, Flesh and Blood. Obviously all the artwork is super, super nice. The foiling's nice. The cards feel really nice and premium. But I haven't had a chance to actually play uh, a game of it. Okay, we've got a Riled Up as our foil. We have a Rock Slide Trap. And a Talishar, the Lost Prince. No, it's a sword. Interesting. Uh, 
I guess it's just different coming in, uh, not knowing any of the law or, or what any of this is. So we haven't seen this yet, I don't think. Zen state. We've seen snapback. Bittering thorns. Swing fist, think later. Flood force. Ooh. It's a majestic and that is a foil version. Let me just try and get that into that is that is really nice. I don't know if that's worth anything though. That's still really nice. We have a promise of the plenty and a barraging bighorn raging. So yeah, I didn't actually look it up whether you can get the twinning blade extended in the packs of, or if possibly it was a special, um, a special just from the first edition packs. Crush the week. Have we seen that? High speed impact as our foil ag again. I wanted to say again, but it's a really nice foiling on that one. We have a Flood of Force Majestic as well. I believe the M means it's Majestic. So that is the non-foil version. A Rushing River. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So for the last six, I might just go straight to the back. Got an overblast, combustible career, sleep dart, snapback, blessings of serenity, riled up. Don't know if we've seen that one. Crush the weak as our, I keep saying foil, I think it's foil. It's not holographic, I think that's Pokemon. Tripwire trap. And a Benji non foil. Not bad. Last six. Just go straight to the last three, I think. So one, two, three. We've got a, that's really nice. A foil pathing helix, even though it's a common, but the foiling is super, super nice. See that there. And obviously in person, it's a lot nicer. It's a lot more vibrant. Got a Cindering Foresight and a Springboard Somersault. We've got a Consuming Volition as our foil. I feel like I've seen that artwork before this set. Was it in the last one? Maybe? Not sure. Let me just move this down. Okay. Yeah, I can't, um, I can't remember. If it was Absorption Dome and a Crane Dance Red. I think with the Majestics, you can only get damage its cards. With the Majestics you can only get a single colour, so up the top where it's the red, blue, or yellow. I think the Majestics only come in a specific colour. Sutcliffe's Research Notes Foil, very subtle. Dauntless, rare, and Aether Conduit, rare. Three more to go. A rousing aether foil. That's quite nice. I like all the purples. I can't say this card, I just don't know how to say it. A reinforce the line red. 
second last. Yeah, a lot better at opening the packs. Another card that I don't know how to say, but that foil is really nice on that one. We have a Rune Blood Barrier, Majestic, another big horn. Okay. Let's see what the last pack holds for us. We have a Blessing of Serenity foil. That is actually such a nice foil. That's nice. We have a Cindering Foresight and a Sintari Saber. Unfortunately, we didn't get a Vandal Spring Tunic or a Twinning Blade Extended Art, but we did get some pretty cool cards. I do like all of these foils. Super nice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That was the Crystal of War uh, Unlimited Edition Booster Pack. A booster Box, sorry. And yeah, that was a uh, 24 pack. Seemed a bit quicker than usual, but I guess less packs, less cards. It was a bit smaller. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. I think the next set in line is Monarchy, so look forward to that. Catch you then.